and you can see it and hear it only on the United Media Network, United Intentions Media Network. All right, let's jump in. How are you, my friend? I have with me Dr. Lynn Lavers. Lynn, how are you today? You know, I'm well, Nelson. Thank you. And I'm so excited to be here and to be able to talk with you and your listeners about some very important things. Yeah, I, it's really a pleasure to have you here, Lynn. I, I'm always so grateful because I know all of us have remarkably busy lives. And so it means a great deal that you would take time out of your busy, busy life and sit here for an hour or so. I, I hope I can keep you a little bit longer after the show, chat with you and catch up on a few things. But to keep you for an hour and talk about something that's really not only important to us, but that can change the lives of, of thousands and thousands of people in the country and the world. Yeah, I agree. So we're going to talk about circulation today, and we're going to talk about how we can improve that, Lynn, using an amazing device, German uh, discovered and made, as I recall, in Switzerland. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So the technology and the manufacturing are second to none. So let's let's get back to basics. We always have to remember, you know, you and I are doctors, so I always want to go very, very deep into this topic, but we're with regard to losing people and having people say, who are these geeks? What language are they speaking? Turn the channel. Let's start with the basics. Let's talk about circulation. And I know if you spoke, if you speak to the average person, they're going to say, well, yeah, circulation is important. But, but Lynn, let's step back for a moment and let's talk about something that really isn't so much given the credit that it should be uh, in this country right now. It was some years ago, but the topic of circulation has kind of gone a little bit to the wayside. You know, we're, we're, we're in this diet craze where, you know, people ask you sort of like, a, like your religion. You know, what are you a vegan? Are you a vegetarian? Do you do paleo? Do you do keto? Do you do Mediterranean? And so there's all this. And, I'm, of course, I'm not suggesting that, that it's irrelevant. It, it's critical to understand a lot of these principles and, and what works best for you and, excuse me, and what maximizes your health. Uh, you also have people talking about the brain-gut connection. And once again, very, very important. But you have some some other topics that aren't quite given the attention that they should. And you and I are going to discuss one today, and that is why paying attention to your circulatory system and how well it functions is critical. It is a game-changer and a deal-breaker if it isn't optimized. Okay. So, so there you go. So, so let's talk. What? Tell me, why is our circulatory system so important, and why do you want to make sure that yours is optimized so you have the best expression of health that is possible for you? Well, the circuit circulation in general. So, when we think about that, we just think of blood, and because we can't see the blood, we don't necessarily give it the the importance that that it really needs. We have ten different systems. And the circulation is the river of life. There's no other system, like without this system, no other system would work. So think about it. If blood doesn't go to the brain, the brain doesn't work. As a matter of fact, the brain will die in six minutes without circulation. So none of the organs and systems will work without this, tra this transportation, you know, this river of life. So the, the vascular system, the circulatory system, is comprised of veins and arteries and capillaries. And everybody is very familiar with the veins and the arteries. Right. But it actually only makes up 26% of the vascular system. The other 76%, every other 74% is made up of these microvessels that are mm -hmm. called capillaries. So in the, in the capillaries is where the oxygen and nutrient exchange is made and these cells are fed and then the waste products are taken away. The heart is the pump and everybody knows about the heart and thinks that it's most, the, the most important part, but it's actually not. I mean, it is important. Don't get me wrong. Sure. We can't live without our heart. That's right. But it's actually in these vessels, the pulsing, the uh, electrical rhythmical pulsing of the vessels that moves the blood around. So what's interesting, this is a closed system, and the same five liters of blood pump through the body all day long to the tune of between 8,000 and 12,000 liters passing through the system every single day. Wow, I mean, that's a big number. It is a big Say number. Say that again. So we have five liters, and the same five liters circulate. But in that circulatory process, over a 24-hour period, right. we're actually 
we're moving between eight and twelve thousand hundred. I'm sorry, eight and twelve. Eight, 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 eight to, eight to 12,000. Right. You. Wow. Lynn, so, I, I get how we stumbled on that for a second. That's a big yeah, number. A you know, I just, number. I never calculated that, but that's really, really impressive. So we have a lot of blood moving in our system and we have this, this area that very few people really know about. I mean, obviously the, the typical educated person has heard the word capillary and capillary bed, but let's talk about why it's so important. What happens at the capillary level between the capillaries and the cells? Talk a little bit about that. So when, when every time we take a breath, and this is important too, because if you think about it, the very first thing we do when we come into life is take a breath. And the very last thing we do is take a breath. Yeah, that so, gives you a little idea how important it is, isn't it? It is very important. We can go a few minutes without oxygen. We can go a few days without water. We can go months without food. So oxygen is is the most important. And what carries the oxygen to the tissues is the blood. So we take a breath. That oxygen um, joins up with red blood cells. The red blood cells are carried through the arteries to the capillaries. Uh, so it's it's actually oxygen and nutrients. So the food that we eat is also being transported. And when it gets to the capillaries, that's where the magic happens. So the, the oxygen and nutrients is displaced from the red blood cells into the tissues through the capillary walls to the individual cells. Now we have over 100 trillion cells. So this is a very, very big job that has to occur every single day. Every single day, all day long. Right. All day long. And in those 100 trillion cells, they all need to be fed because that's where health begins. We're only as healthy as the new cells that we can make, okay. right? Okay, good point, good point, Lynn. Think about that you're gonna build a house and you want a brick and mortar house and all you have is brick and no mortar. Right. I mean, you can build a house, but it's not gonna withstand a hurricane or a storm, it's gonna leak. Sure. So we, we need the nutrients getting to the cells to produce new healthy cells in order to produce new tissue, new organs, and then of course, us as a whole as an organism. Right. And uh, then the other thing that's really important in these capillaries is the exchange. So we have the exchange of nutrients and oxygen, but then it also removes the waste. And we th when we think of waste, we don't necessarily think of what cellular waste is, but the cells, just like humans, are pooping. <laughs> Seconds. Right. Yeah. Can you yeah. imagine a hundred, hundred? Would you say a hundred trillion cells are defecating? Cells. Yeah. Wow. There again is a is a pretty big task for the body to help clean that up. So once again, it's very very important for these these capillaries and the lymphatic system and such to be able to deliver nutrients, oxygen, all the things the cell needs to repair itself, to generate proteins. Uh, whatever whatever intracellular things must occur, and then you've got to remove all the byproducts. So this is a very critical process, and life cannot, as you established, go on unless this is handled in a very precise way. That's correct. So just to give you the magnitude of the size of the circulatory system, I mean, we look at an individual and we think, okay, there's there's blood and there's veins and arteries. But if you were to lay out the veins, arteries, and capillaries in a straight line, it would circle the, the globe two and a half times at 75,000 miles long. Oh my Isn't gosh. that incredible? It, yeah, you can't, it's hard to really even get around that. I mean, it really yeah. is. But, but, but certainly I'm a man who deals very well with numbers. So I, I, I get what a, what a large number that is, my goodness. All right, so, so we understand that we have to have the vascular system to live. We understand primarily that it allows things, nutrients to circulate. We deliver oxygen through it. We remove toxins through it. And you know, a lot of people I don't think really get how important this is because if, for example, you have a faulty circulatory system, I have a health member currently who I love dearly and she is not delivering oxygen well. And it's remarkable how much it's altered the brain function, for example, of this individual, because her perfusion is at, at a number uh, that goes up to 100, and, and uh, last time we checked, it was 88. And so, you know, she has complaints of energy production, getting fatigued tremendously uh, easily, getting up and walking uh, 10, 15 feet, and she's tired. Her memory, she's a brilliant, this is a brilliant person, and the, the memory is really uh, compromised in many cases and so forth. So 
So we're going to look today at how we can dramatically, potentially improve oxygen delivery, nutrient delivery, toxin uh, removal, and so forth from the cells. So let's just jump right into this. Let's talk about this amazing unit that I've had the privilege of using many, many times called the Beamer unit. What is it? Who made it again? And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, why it was made. Okay. So uh, it, the Beamer unit is a pulse electromagnetic frequency device. And so the, when you think about pulse electromagnetic therapy, PEMF, uh, there's, there's these in, invisible electrical currents that are going through us. The body is electric, but more electric right. than chemical. And even the Earth's gravity, you know, that's all part of the electrical field. We're all part of this electrical field. So uh, in, in the circulatory system, uh, in addition to the heart pumping, the veins and arteries have this rhythmical pulsing that's called vasomotion. And when we're young and healthy, it pulsates about every 20 seconds, and that helps move that mass quantity of blood through the circulatory system. As we age, that gets less and less. And when we're in a disease st uh, state or a disease process, that only happens about once every 10 minutes. Wow. So you can only imagine how stagnant everything sure. gets. Sure, right. So this originally was designed uh, to help with that microcirculation and what differentiates Beamer from other PEMF devices is that we have a patented signal that's attached to the PEMF that creates this electricity, this vasomotion at the at the micro vessels, the capillary base. Wow, got it. All right, Lynn, we're going to take a quick commercial break, folks. I'm Dr. Nelson Bullmash. You're listening to Health Matters. And I have the, my esteemed colleague, Dr. Lynn Lovers, joining me. We'll be right back. Don't you touch that dial. Are you ready to be the hero of your own story? It's time to put the power of your health back into your hands. Join us for our free 25-day journey to get your life back now from chronic illness. Our doctors and experts will guide you back to optimal health. In my opinion, there is not a drug in the world for a chronic disease that I would consider. Not one. Acute, yes. You got appendicitis, of course. I prefer to take it out. You know, they're now treating appendicitis with three weeks of bed rest and antibiotics. I'd rather have it taken out. I think it's safer than taking antibiotics for three weeks. Surgery, <laughs> fine. Wonderful. Go with it. But the instant they put you on antibiotics, there are four major articles saying. If all the next studies have been allowed by the pharma company, I All right, I'm back. I'm Dr. Nelson Bullmash. You're listening to my show, known as Health Matters. I have my guest today, Dr. Lynn Lovers, who's joining me, and we're discussing something that often is understated and undervalued by many. And we're talking about the circulatory system. And Dr. Lynn Lovers is going to be talking to us about a very, very powerful technology known as the Beamer device that was developed by a professor in Germany and manufactured in uh, Sweden. Right, Lynn? That's correct. Yeah. So uh, it was originally, the, back in, this all started back in 1998, uh, by a German physicist, his name is Dr. Kafka, K-O-F-K-A, and he is the one who discovered the, the signal, this unique patented signal. And he took this technology to Peter Gleim, uh, who is a well-respected businessman in Germany, and in, in the hopes of uh, Peter helping him find a way to market this. Got it. So uh, Peter took this and was fascinated by it, and, and the original uh, Beamers were actually made in Peter's garage. Wow. Right? 
while he was trying to figure all of this out. And they had no idea what they had stumbled across. And, you know, and like you said, it's, uh, it, you know, may, it's German engineering and Swiss crafted and there's, you can't get much better than that. Swiss crafted. That's right. Excellent. So describe again, for those who are just joining us, how this pulse, uh, this technology creates an electromagnetic field that pulsates. And I want you to describe again to our listeners, because I'm sure many are, are just entering into our show uh, and don't know exactly the dynamics of how this works. Describe again how this technology actually increases oxygen perfusion at the cellular level. Okay. So you can think of Beamer being the equivalent of a jumper, uh, uh, jumper cables. Okay. And that, and that our bodies are a dead car battery, right? I like it. Good. So, so what we're trying to do is breathe life and electricity back into the body. Now, again, remember, we're more electric than we are chemical. Chemical, right. Nature. So if the electricity is, we'll just say that you're running on, um, you know, one cylinder instead of an eight cylinder. Okay. Uh, like we want to, right. this actually will help improve that. So it the, the Beamer therapy actually uh, stimulates the micro vessels into that vasomotion that it, and in a healthy state happens every 20 seconds and in an unhealthy state happens once every 10 minutes. So it just helps stimulate the vascular system in this rhythmical pulsation to carry blood, which is uh, rich in blood and in, in, uh, oxygen and nutrients, right. to the micro vessels, which are then um, offloaded, so to speak, into right. the tissues, into the individual cells, cells. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, collect the waste products and then bring it back through the veins. So, Lynn, I have a question for you. Uh, how often do you recommend that this technology be used by an individual? So what's interesting about that is that... Uh, this will last for 12 to 16 hours. So ideally, we want to use it twice a day. Right. But even there's there's uh, scientific studies that have been done uh, when they were doing some comparison studies with other PEMF devices. And with ours, uh, even after, you, like if you don't use it for three days, your body is still has the technology and the signal in it that's creating this continual basal motion. So the ideal uh, scenario would be twice a day in the morning and in the evening to keep your, you, you know, the sort of the, the, the fuel tank full. Sure. So this begs another question, which is, does there come a point uh, where, for example, if you go on vacation for two weeks and you decide I'm not going to take my Beamer unit, do you, do you get to the point where maybe the signal isn't as strong physiologically, but it's your, your, your blood flow, your perfusion is still far above where it was before you began using the technology? That's a great question. So what this does in helping to open up the clogged tissues, you know, and the tissues that are, um, that, that aren't getting any blood and oxygen supplies, you know, that maybe are, are a little bit stagnant right. because of poor circulation. So this goes in and it will help open those up and, and that continues to happen as long as you remain on it. Now, if we, if I go on vacation and don't take it and I'm gone for two weeks, I'm not going to go all the way back to where I started when I first started using it. Right. I'm going to go right where I left off. So oh, I'm not fantastic. Yeah. It's not like I'm going to have to start completely over after the two week vacation. Right. I'm going to pick back up where I left off. Now, let me once again. You, you know, I have lots of lots of questions coming, coming forth. But this device is actually reasonably portable, so you could pretty easily take it on on a vacation, right? I I, I travel with mine. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a feeling as such. I had a feeling as such. So it's you know, a this computer box yeah, and a mat that you can roll up and put in your suitcase. Now I do carry the computer with me in my carry on luggage. I don't want right. to send it baggage but sure. the mat yeah right so it's it's highly portable now i understand that you you folks have gotten a lot of attention from some very particular groups one of which is nasa talk to us a little bit about that yeah that's this is really interesting this is what actually sold me on the beamer was their relationship with nasa so if you look at the timeline of when the fake the signal was first discovered in 1998 
and then the first box was made and all of that. You know, Beam, uh, NASA was out there looking for ways to help their astronauts in zero gravity. So in zero gravity, uh, there tends to be bone and muscle loss. And uh, depending on how long you're out there, uh, that's, you know, the, it could be a couple of days back in gravity that issues resolved. It could be weeks. It could be months. And for some people that spend a lot of time in zero gravity, their issues never resolve when they get back. Wow. So NASA was trying to take care of their astronauts, and they looked at a variety of different PEMFs, and they chose to partner with Beamer because of this uh, patented signal attached to the PEMF. So they're, they've done studies and research, and uh, they have actually uh, applied the technology into the undergarments of the astronauts, and they wear that while they're uh, in outer space. Wow. So they're exposed to the signal 24-7 while they're in space. Yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I know uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of a geeky guy, and when I was a little kid, I got to the point where I really enjoyed designing <laughs> my own rockets and i remember being so proud that i built a three-stage rocket uh so proud that i never actually launched it <laughs> so <laughs> i i never wanted to lose it it meant a lot to me that i could uh, design such a thing so i had it for many years and then uh, my amazing wife thought well it was designed to go into space it's going there and i never saw it again <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> yeah so anyhow Talk to me, you know, the NFL gets a lot of attention here in the United States, and I understand that they've also partnered up with Beamer. Tell us a little bit about that. They have. Uh, so there's different um, uh, athletic uh, ventures out there and, and a human and animal, but where the NFL is concerned, the NFL and their alumni are, are using this and promote it and are seeing some great results. So that is one of the most brutal sports out there, in my opinion, you know, those boys get knocked around you know, pretty hard at that level. Uh, and they're using it for recovery. So they use it before and after. So they're using it um, to help uh, on, the, on the front end with uh, better blood flow to the muscles so right. that the muscles are stronger. The tendons and ligaments that, that have very little vascularization are getting the attention that they need. So uh, the way that translates is that there's less injuries, there's a shorter recovery time, uh, just better performance, better focus, better concentration, better agility. Uh, all of that plays in, into uh, why the NFL has has uh, chosen Beamer and using it in, with, with the teams and the alumni. Well, that's really a, a testimonial in and of itself because the NFL is a, a sport, of course, where players are, are, are paid millions of dollars. So we're talking very, very, very high performance. And I remember a couple things in talking to my son, who was an excellent football player at the college level. And he let me read an article once that one out of a million boys make it to the NFL. Wow. That's the in this article. One in a million boys make it wow. to the professional level. So, yeah, that's you know, the elite, that's the elite, the elite of the elite. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, another, well, here's another here's another elite of the elite. And this is an interesting statistic. So we have an equine unit also for horses. OK. And Justify, who was the thoroughbred that won this year's Triple Crown. Right. He gets this therapy every day. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Talk about the elite of uh, the elite. Yes. Triple well, Crown has one in a number of years. I'll tell you why this fascinates me so much, because, you know, when you're young, nobody really talks about how much life beats you up if you play football, if you're involved in fighting, if you're involved with heavy running. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, Lynn, and then 20 or 30 years later, suddenly, you kind of feel all those injuries that you got when you were a young, youngster, right? And yes. so one of the things that really appeals to me with this kind of technology is how significantly it helps you recover even from chronic issues that could be 20 and 30 years old. Uh, and that's that's the first thing. I noticed a couple things, Lynn, when I use this. And, and I, don't, I don't talk a lot about technologies because I haven't found too many that impress me. But every time I've used this unit, uh, it, it has just awed me as to how well my brain worked afterwards mm -hmm. and how energetic I was. It was just... Interesting. It could be, like I joined you one night. You had a, you, you gave me a session. I don't know if you remember this a few years yeah. ago, 
And I yes. was I was incredibly tired. I'd worked a 13-hour day. Yeah. Uh, I don't even I hadn't had uh, dinner, as I recall. We were going to go out and get dinner afterwards, and something came up, and I you had to go your, your separate way, and I had to go my separate way. So I ended up eating after the fact. But I sat there and I thought, I don't even know how I'm going to stay awake. I'm so tired. And you said, Nelson, sit on this. And of course, you had the beamer pad on the chair. And I think I, you know, I'm an overachiever. I, I you, you, I think you recommend eight minutes. I, I went at least 30 minutes. And I remember <laughs> yeah. getting up, Lynn, and I thought, I feel unbelievable. You know, I just, I felt like so energized. So I was very, very impressed with that. And I want to, I want to speak to another thing regarding the NFL players. Most people see these big, burly. Uh, studs, if you will, these athletes playing soccer, playing football, uh, and I'm not discounting women, of course, I'm just talking about football because in particular, it's such an incredibly rugged game. My son used to describe it as, as in the following way. He used to say, Dad, I feel every Saturday like I've been in a street fight. And then the next week, when we're ready to play our next game, it all starts over again. So in other words, he said, usually by the next Saturday, meaning after a week, I start to kind of feel like myself again. So I'm wondering if, you know, if people have jobs, if people have stresses in their life that beat them up that badly. Uh, you know, I was exhausted the day I met you, and I was kind of embarrassed because I, I thought, God, she's going to think I'm just some <laughs> thug or, or some, not a thug, but a, a slug, excuse me, who, you know, doesn't have any personality, <laughs> doesn't have anything going on upstairs. And it just was startling to me how incredibly effectively I recovered. So it really speaks volumes to what it's like when things start to stagnate and you don't have that that typical strength of, circula of circulatory power that we need. So, Lynn, we're going to further this conversation. Evidently, we have to take another commercial break, and I'll okay. be right back. So, folks, you're listening to me, Dr. Nelson Bullnash. The show is Health Matters. My guest is Dr. Lynn Lovers, and we're speaking about a very powerful technology that boosts energy and circulation known as the Beamer Unit. We'll be right back. Well, check out our bonus videos on Patreon at p a t r e o n dot com forward slash ui radio network. For only two dollars a month, which you can cancel at any time, you can watch all of our exciting, inspiring, and sometimes controversial videos. So, what are you waiting for? Head on over to patreon dot com forward slash ui radio network. Hello, folks. I'm Dr. Nelson Bullnash. You're listening to Health Matters. My guest today is my friend and colleague, Dr. Lynn Lovers. Lynn, we're talking about a, a favorite subject of mine. We're talking about the Beamer Unit and how fantastic it is for helping with recovery. When you boost circulation, when you boost the delivery of oxygen and nutrients, we've already discussed how effectively it helps with any and all things associated with recovery. What other kinds of things do people report and I know we're not, you know, we got to be careful here. The FDA looks for us to talk about, you know, stepping into dog poo by mentioning treating and curing. So we're not talking about treating and curing anything. We're talking about optimizing circulation and by doing so, increasing the delivery of nutrients, of uh, oxygen, so we can make increased cellular energy and waste removal and so forth. But what, what kinds of things... Uh, if if you're able to speak about it, do, do people report? I, I talked to you about increased energy and recovery. What other things do you hear about? So in general, uh, this can be used from uh, a standpoint of recovery, like injury, surgery, rehab, you know, muscle soreness, being beat up or, you know, in the in playing football, that. And we, we did cover that. Yep. But then it, we also look at it as a preventative, Right. So if we know that as we age, uh, just sort of like an old car, things start to rust and sure. not work so well. So if we can continue to uh, improve the blood flow to get to the organs and tissues and have new cell development, then we can use this as a preventative and improve uh, the, heart, the whole cardiovascular system. So the, the number one uh, disease process in the United States is cardiovascular disease. Absolutely. 
And because we already know that the circulatory system is the main system, and without it, without that river of life, that, that blood flow, none of the organ, other organs and systems would function. So then if we take that information and we go, okay, so this is important. We need to take care of this. And by, you know, using this uh, on a regular basis, every day, twice a day, we improve cardiac function. We improve blood flow. We improve general nutrition and oxygen delivery to the tissues. We improve waste uh, management and sleep management. I mean, most of the people that come to see me are in a disease state process and one of their chief complaints is i can't sleep yeah that what, seems to be these days probably in the top five considerations for people who are unwell insomnia yeah, it, it yeah, is. big problem it, and you can't repair if you don't sleep yeah so we Good have point. the only patent on the sleep cycle this this beamer unit actually wow. has a sleep cycle so it'll take you into rem and then bring you back up so you set a timer and for two hours, it takes you down into REM, and then two hours before it's time to wake up, it brings you back up out of it. So, so the repair process is in, incredibly beneficial from, wow. from the program. Interesting. I, I, I was completely unaware of that. So evidently, we're not only talking about altering circulatory signaling but uh, mechanisms, but we're, we must be talking about altering other signals, and I don't know if you have an awareness of this, but you're altering brain signaling as well by altering the sleep patterns. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you wow. Transit okay. Through the different the different brain waves. And right. The other really great thing about this is is is, is that it's carrying not only the you know, nutrition, but it's carrying uh, hormones as well. So it's important for the hormones to be distributed to the tissues so they can they can do what they're supposed sure. to be doing. Sure. Very good point, uh, Lynn. I so appreciate you mentioning that. I, I hadn't even thought about that. I was kind of focused more on oxygen delivery so that you could have more cellular energy uh, so you can have anything from greater repair to greater cellular function, which translates to greater tissue function and therefore greater function of the overall being. Uh, but you're right. There are specific molecules like hormones that if the circulatory system is faulty, it's not going to deliver effectively. And therefore, we're going to have uh, any number of problems associated with whatever isn't delivered to the cell. So that's a very, very good point. Thank you for bringing that up. Well, even if we go a step further, those people that are on medications, if the, if the blood flow is not getting to the tissues and the cells that need the medication, then how effective is the medication? Uh, once again, another really, really, really good point. Or or just fundamental supplement delivery. Right. You know, it's it's always interesting to me when, uh, and it doesn't happen a great deal, but occasionally I'll have a, a patient say, I don't feel anything on these. And I think, how in the world can you not feel some kind of an improvement if we're getting greater nutrition? Well, I was going to say into the cells, but the but your your point is well taken, Lynn, that maybe we're not actually getting them into the cells, and that's a big part of the problem. Maybe we're getting them into the body, but they're either being ineffectively digested or ineffectively transported to their desired final locations. That's correct. So in my practice, I actually have a, a, a unique way to be able to look and see what the Beamer does. So I have a, 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 a live cell microscope. Oh, cool. great. Okay. Sure. That I can take a before and after uh, uh, prick of the finger drop of blood. Yes. And we can look at it before the Beamer right. and then after the Beamer also. Interesting. Uh, yeah, and that's always quite eye-opening for people, you know, because they don't really think about the blood and what's in it, first of all, and what it does. I mean, that's what this whole conversation is about. Like, what is the circulatory system and why do we need, even need to think about it? I, um, this is so fascinating. I, you know, Lynn, I apologize. This is what a perfect fit for you. Now I understand why you're so engaged by this technology. I had no idea that you did live, uh, live cell microscopy. That's fascinating. So mm -hmm. you must see monumental changes in the, the blood uh, picture, if you will. Oh, I do. And, and uh, from, the, from the very first visit, the before and after, but then from over a period of months also. So I have I have the patient take a, a picture on their cell phone of the the uh, of their blood before and after, and then every time they come in, we do the same process so that they can see wow uh, the improvements. That's yeah. incredible. I, one of these days, I would love to discuss that in more detail and see some of these before and afters. 
I'm, I, I'm geeky that way. I would love that. That'd be fantastic. So, so Lynn, it, it sounds to me like we have opened up a whole new frontier of medicine, if you will, functional medicine. Yes, uh, it, it is actually a whole new frontier, um, and it's called um, uh, bioelectric medicine. Uh, and another word that's used uh, quite often is this uh, electroceutical med medicine. I love it. Industry. So what's interesting is that Google and Glasgow Smith Klein have formed a venture to develop this bioenergetic medicine and this electroceutical in industry. And you know, if those two players are involved, that this is this is big business. Yeah. So this is yeah. I was going to say serious business. Interesting and, and interesting that we both use the word business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, an interesting little uh, slip there. And we didn't we didn't say health necessarily. We said business. <laughs> so, Lynn, if I may, let's talk a little bit about some of the segments of our population uh, that are struggling in different ways. For example, how might and I'm and I'm saying might here. The caveat might. I don't want to put you. Uh, I don't want to pigeonhole you. I don't want to put you in a dangerous position um, before the FDA. I know, I know. Once again, you're not uh, the disclaimers. You're not treating anybody uh, with specific diseases. But, but what kind of uh, potential outcomes? What kind of potential benefits could those myriad numbers of people who are suffering, for example, from an, an autoimmune problem? How might they benefit from this? What's really cool about this is that it increases uh, white blood cell production. So if we're talking about an autoimmune issue, like all autoimmune diseases are based on the immune system being um, overrun with toxins. And that, those toxins could be uh, man-made toxins, you know, chlorine, fluoride, uh, air pollution. Metals, pollution. right? Metals, yes. Sure, uh, it plastics. Could be, it could be light plastics, yes, yeah. Uh, and the whole plastic thing, we won't even go there. We have <laughs> another big conversation for another day, right? Uh, so man-made lifestyle, so people that smoke or, or drink too much caffeine or eat too much sugar or, or don't they, their uh, bowels don't move every day and they suffer from constipation or diarrhea. Sure, you know, either sure. Either one of those are going to, going to be impacted. Um, and even the God-made critters like the viruses and mm -hmm. bacteria right. and rickettsias and, and things like that. So if, if we can um, – if, if we look at those factors as creating – um, stagnant pools of tissue, and th from those stagnant pools of tissue, then the disease process is started. You know, it's kind of like if you're looking at the rivers and streams in anywhere USA, right? And you've got, uh, you've just had a you know a downpour, rainstorm, and everything's moving along, and all the trash yes. and debris is being moved out. Sure. And it, you know, a week later, everything is shut down. There's no there's no uh, water flowing and there's these pockets of green pond scum in the, in the sides of the streams and in the, in the, in the lakes. Um, it's, it, you can think of that as the vascular system in the body. So if we can go in and clear that out, wiggle the tissues, right, so to speak, right. Get things moving. I, get I, things moving. I, I love the unpleasant visual then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's perfect because it's, it's so true. I mean, th you know, you don't ever want, water to stagnate uh, in the form of a lake or a pond or, you know, a river that begins to dry up because you have disease. Disease, whether it's air that doesn't flow or water that doesn't flow, eventually it becomes disease-ridden. And so, uh, you know, one of the first things I learned decades ago about health is you keep your air filtered and moving. You keep your water filtered and moving. And so why not, of course, have this be true about our own bodies? So your, your, your visuals, though unpleasant <laughs> in the mind, are, are very effectively uh, taken, if you will. So, so thank you for that. So, it, it, you know, I want you to let me know if I'm correct. I, I also heard uh, somewhere that this unit is also very effective in helping to decrease inflammation. Is that true? Well, all inflammation is is the accumulation of waste products. That's all inflammation is. So if we look at, okay, the cause of inflammation is the accumulation of cells defecating and that, that isn't being cleaned up, right. then, then it's obvious that the femur can help with that simply in the fact that it's, waste, it's helping with waste removal. Makes a lot of sense. Excellent point. Very, very, very good. So 
uh, we talked about athletes, and I and I think the big idea here is really quite basic. That what we're doing is with athletes is we're helping them by increasing nutrient delivery, so they have all the nutrients they need for repair, for optimization of cell function. We're helping them by increasing the actual delivery of oxygen, so they can make increased uh, cellular energy. And then, as you just mentioned, we are also helping them by helping with the elimination and by eliminating toxins, particularly at the rate that they perform, we're going to help decrease inflammation, therefore assist in recovery. Anything else need to be said about that segment? No, I think that that pretty much covers it. But I do want to uh, make a comment about um, a, a bicycle team that we that Beamer has right? sponsored. Yes. There's, a, there's a race called the Race Across America. Uh, and it's uh, I believe it's done every year. But I do know that in 2016, uh, we sponsored a team, and they were a four-member team, and all the other teams were an eight-member team, and they used the Beamer. Uh, they had it in the in the van that was that was transporting um, the team members from point to point. While one while one was cycling, the others were resting and using this Beamer, and they finished ahead of everybody else by almost 24 hours. Oh my! Are, wait, 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 wait a minute! You, you're telling me that four people four people rather than eight. So in other words, they had to do twice as twice the distance per person. Yes. In this race, uh, does this literally mean like from the East Coast to the West Coast or thereabouts? West, west to East. West, west to, to east. east. Okay, West and, to East. And they beat and, them by 24 and, hours? Uh, just under 24 hours, yes. Remarkable. And then in 2018, they, uh, they were racing again and they, they, held, they now hold the world record in biking the longest distance in record time, and they did it with the Beamer. Wow. Isn't that amazing? It, it, Rick, yes, that's incredible. Yeah. Four people beating eight by almost 24 hours in a race across America. Yeah, yes. that's pretty profound. Lynn, pretty profound. I want you to hold on to that excitement. We're getting ready okay. to take our last commercial break. Are you having fun? I am, yes. Excellent, thank you so much. Once again, I really appreciate you being here, folks. Dr. Lynn Lavers, we're talking about the technology of the Beamer unit and how it optimizes the flow of life, your circulatory system. I'm Dr. Nelson Bullmash. You're listening to Health Matters, and we'll be right back. My name is Maria Walden Sullivan, and I'd love to invite you to tune into my new show, Better Self, Better World, on WDJY 99.1 FM. It's a show on self improvement, self discovery, and giving back to make the world a better place. You know what they say you can't help others if you can't help yourself. Well, I really take that personally, and so do my wonderful guests who come on my show. From nonprofit charities to high level business executives, I'd like to invite people who are making a difference in this world. Listen to Better Self and Better World on Spreaker, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and many more as United Intentions. You can also follow me at United Intentions on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and on Twitter at Higher Intention. Be sure to watch me on Facebook Live too. You can't pour from an empty cup, so let's fill you up and serve others at your highest good. I'm Maria Walden Sullivan, and I cannot wait for you to join me on Better Self, Better World. All right, folks. I'm Dr. Nelson Bullmash. Once again, you're listening to Health Matters, and my guest is Dr. Lynn Lavers. We're talking about an extraordinary technology called the Beamer Unit, which is called a pulsed electromagnetic device that helps increase the perfusion of oxygen into the cells, and by doing so, helps accelerate the removal of toxins from the cells, and therefore the body, that helps increase oxygen delivery, meaning you end up being able to make more cellular energy, and being able to decrease inflammation by removing all the toxins that help create the uh, inflammatory process in the first place. Lynn, thank you again for joining us today. I, I wanted to ask you this, and I'm, and I, and I didn't ask you this before, so I don't know if you have any information about any research being done currently, but do you have any, have you heard about any great research being done with this technology? Well, there's over 30 PubMed articles, and, and those are peer-reviewed publications. So there's over 30 of those. There's hundreds of scientific studies being done 
on Beamer and PEMF in general, and you can actually go to PubMed.org and type in Beamer, and it'll come up with those with those studies. Uh, and that that's really important to know. And then also, we have five worldwide patents on this signal. So oh. that that in and of itself speaks volumes. It's an FDA registered device, so it's it's. You know, the, the FDA is, is well aware of it and signs off on it um, and, and regulated by the FDA. But I think, you know, more importantly to me is the, the, the fact that we have something so special that the owners and originators of these devices have gone and put a patent on the signal so that nobody else can, you know, we're the, we're the only place you can get it. Outstanding. Uh, do you want to share a little bit about those patents? Do you happen to know what they are? Uh, you know, I, I don't, actually. Um, Not a problem. I just, I mean, it just would be curious as to what they are. I know this is such an exclusive technology and, and such a, such an amazing instrument that is gaining a great deal of popularity. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure you could find that, that information either on Beamer's website or sure. in the PubMed. Gov. And, you know, I'm curious, what, how can people, before we forget, how can people get more information uh, about the Beamer technology? What's, what is a website they can go to, or can they reach out to you? Well, if they wanted to, they could reach out to me. Uh, I think that would be the probably the easiest way. Uh, and then I could, uh, you know, direct them to, depending on what it is that they're looking for. Yes. You know, I could direct them to, to where they needed to go find that information. And they could find me, uh, uh, they could, uh, my email address is uh, laverslin at gmail.com, and that's spelled L-A-V as in Victor, E-R-S, laverslin, L-Y-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at gmail.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions uh, that anybody might have and, uh, you know, send you to, send you videos or the right the right place uh, to go to look for information. One of my favorite videos actually is this two minute video that was done by the Microcirculation Institute in Germany uh, a number of years ago where they, they put a microscopic uh, camera into the tissues of the colon and then did this, uh, this time lapsed uh, two minute video of what happens before during and after an eight minute treatment. And wow. it's amazing. That's it's, incredible. It's, yeah, it's very cool. It, it, it you know, you, you can see a vein, an artery, and a capillary. And in the beginning of the video, the, there's no cells that are getting through the capillaries. It's, it's all shut down and it's all this stagnant blood that isn't moving. And by the end of the two minute video, it, it's like this waterway, this, this NASCAR race. Right. Uh, and it, 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 that's quite interesting. So I always like to send that to people uh, because it's really eye opening, and it, that all happens in one in one treatment in a in one session, I should say, in one eight minute session. You know what's what's interesting is that a lot of the other things that we do to achieve health require, uh, in many cases, a significant amount of planning, time, and execution. But mm -hmm. eight minutes twice a day. I mean, come on. Who can't invest eight minutes twice a day, right? That's right. Do you have? You, I do this, I'm so fascinated by this this technology. Uh, do you happen to have any information about how it's being used scientifically for, say, chronic degenerative diseases? Since an enormous amount of our folks, 40 and above, probably even younger now, uh, have difficulty with some form of chronic degenerative disease. I mean, obviously, it decreases inflammation, increases nutrient delivery, and oxygenation. Is there any research being done that you're aware of? Uh, and I say this because if, if these large pharmaceutical companies, you said GlaxoSmithKline, and you happen to remember the other one? Google. Say it again? Google. Google. Oh, Google. Oh, I, Google. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure I heard that correctly. That's why I wanted to ask you to repeat it. Inter yeah, Google's, Google's been known to spend a lot of money. As a matter of yeah. fact, most people don't know this on health and wellness. So. I'm guessing if they want to invest in this, they're getting that this is an extraordinarily powerful technology for altering health and the quality of life. That's correct. So if you think about it, then 90% uh, of all disease processes are a lack of blood flow, 90%. And wow. there is scientific documents on that. 
90%. So it doesn't matter what disease process we're talking about. We, it doesn't matter if we're talking, you know, about some discomfort or we're talking about the inability to sleep or we're talking about uh, a hormone delivery not happening to the tissues. You know, it doesn't really matter what it is we're talking about. It, 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 if we don't have the means of distribution for oxygen and nutrients and hormones and and all of that and the ability to remove the waste then the disease that's when the disease process starts so we're only as healthy as the the healthy cells that we can produce and if we're not producing healthy cells or we're not producing cells right because there's, there's no turnover there's no there's no there's no um, basic building materials getting into the tissue sure then that's going to weaken the the organs and systems and lead to that aging process yes. that we associate with disease. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. My my son is in his third year of medical school and he's up in Johnson City, Tennessee, and with great sadness, he has on more than one occasion talked to me about the tremendously poor quality of the health of the people in that part of the country. And he said it's just so discouraging and alarming as to how unhealthy many of the people from that area are. Uh, and at, at an age that is so young that uh, it just left him shocked, uh, dismayed, and, and discouraged. So, you know, once again, it's, it's really remarkable that we can have such a profound influence and impact on the quality of our health and, our, and therefore our lives. Because it, once you lose your health, you don't, you don't have anything. Well, what's interesting about that, so this is from Voltaire, 18th century Voltaire. We spend the first half of our lives compromising our health to gain wealth. Right. And second half of our lives spending our wealth to regain our health. Our I love that quote. I love that quote. Yes. But it's true. I mean, you know, you get up into the in, into West Virginia, Tennessee, North and South Carolina. I mean, even the, some of the people that I see when they walk in and then they, I find out how old they are and how much older they look than their actual, their, their biological age is way more advanced than their chronological age. Yes. Yes. You know, it's disheartening. Uh, it is disheartening. Yeah, it is disheartening. And, and then of course the goal, I know you're the goal for, for, for you and for this show and for your practice is to help educate people That's about right. how to take personal responsibility that's right on how to be healthier right and that's my whole goal too like how can i educate these people about uh how to take care of themselves you know because we don't come in with this user manual and then we start taking other people's advice on how best to live yeah and yeah, we very true. just take a deep breath and go okay so i need uh, better quality food i need better sleep i need to make sure that i'm hydrated I need to make sure that the detoxification process is going on, and I need to make sure that my blood is flowing to all the all the crevices. Yeah, you know. And you know, what's what's a harsh reality, Lynn, is that you and I are educated. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who maybe don't have the education they need. They don't have the where for all they need. They don't have somebody looking out for them. And you watch people in pockets. Of every city, quite frankly, but particularly in certain areas of the country, like where my son is at uh, in that uh, eastern Tennessee area. And you you get to see firsthand what life looks like when you don't take good care of yourself. Uh, I remember being very disheartened heartened when I went to a reunion some years ago and I saw people that were in their late 30s, not even 40, and they were shuffling around with... Uh, their beer bottle in their hand and, and shuffling, shuffling, key phrase there. They were shuffling. So in other words, they didn't even pick up uh, and step with a normal gait pattern. Uh, and it was just yeah. really discouraging. So, so folks who might be listening to this or folks that watch this at a, at a later date, one of the things that Lynn mentioned is so true that I am really adamant about spending the rest of my life helping to educate people. And I'm going to have a, an assortment of people over these next uh, weeks, months, and years. And the message, Lynn, that you mentioned that's so critical is that people like Dr. Lynn and I want to do everything we can to get information out there that will help you change your life. Because if you don't change your life, 
it's likely that nobody will change it for you. So, Lynn, you know what time it is? <laughs> I think it's time for our final our, thoughts. Our final thoughts. Yes, absolutely. Lynn, what absolutely. are your what are your final final thoughts? And I'm so, thank you so much, Lynn. It's such a privilege to have you on the show. Uh, well, thank you. It's 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 been a lot of fun. It really has, and and Excellent. I'm right there with you in in trying to get you know information out to people, and and that's really what doctors uh, the word doctor means is educator. Right. You know, it, it's our right and our responsibility uh, to help people take personal responsibility. So you know, for me, uh, anything that I can do personally and in my practice that that is uh, non-invasive, non-chemical, reactive, uh, and easy to use. Sure. It, it takes, you know, eight minutes, uh, twice a day. It's a nice little meditation, if you will. Uh, then I think that that is one of the tools that needs to be in everybody's toolbox. Because if we can influence the river of life and we can uh, do it in a way that is um, non-invasive, sure. then it's all, it's a win-win for everybody. For everybody. Lynn, we've got to go in 10 seconds or less. Tell them again, where can they get a hold of you? Well, my website is optimalhealthmanagement.net, optimalhealthmanagement.net, and my uh, email address is laverslynn at gmail. Dot com. All right. Lynn, we've got to close the show down. Thank you, everyone, so much for listening. I'll be back November 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Health Matters with Dr. Nelson Bullmash, where we help you discover how to ignite your mind, body, and spirit connection. Join us next time when we will bring you more exciting guests and engaging topics. Meanwhile, Feed your mind, exercise your body, and nurture your spirit. The United Intentions Foundation and its associates take no responsibility for the opinions and statements made by the talk show hosts or their guests.